Welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. Did a little bit of off-screen tinkering, now I'm rocking the dual blades instead of the double blades. A bit worse in terms of game mechanics, also a bit more dangerous in terms of hitting myself in the face, but... Overall... Still very stylish. Uh, people actually requested that I put up more of this. So that's the real reason. I'm doing it all for my... It's, it's, I'm a very selfless person is what I'm trying to say. Speaking of incredibly selfless people... Oh boy. Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. Oh dear. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Assassins tend to do that. You look a lot. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no. I am not okay. Furthermore, I'm I should not have the discretionary uh, control over my vocabulator, <clears throat> causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Oh. I already knew that. Why are you... good question. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. <laughs> Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Hmm. Well, I do need a shockingly large number of people dead. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. I know the feeling, bro. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Basically, he's got to start again from level one. You look... Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. Fair enough. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Well, there's at least four. Actually, it feels more like two dozen at this point. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. No, uh, really, man, I'm actually not kidding. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. They provoke that reaction in me as well. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. Good. Statement. Oh. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me du running all over the galaxy, eroding my good name. But if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. Yes, please. So it seems I need you for the time being. Oh, cool. Welcome aboard, assassination droid who clearly hates, like, everything. Recitation. Yes, as I said. I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh how I hate that term. You can just... You can just not use that term. <laughs> Get used to it. Answer. No, Master. Uh, I said it again. I really don't have the option of giving him permission not to use the creepy term. Answer. Yes, master. 
and the bitterness increases. This seems like a reasonable order that any, even like a dark side character, would not want the droid just going off without explicit orders from the general. Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Yes, Master won't do anything without you. I do appreciate... I do understand the parallels between uh, droids and people of color. Actually, to me it was most pronounced. I don't know if I ever mentioned this. It was most pronounced in the original movies when they go in the bar and the bartender's like, We don't serve droids here. I believe the exact phrase was, We don't serve their kind. And that was the, like the most like I get it. And based on when the original Star Trek movies were made, that's actually a pretty powerful message. Given that the droids were basically the storytelling characters for like half the series. So there's my mu slight musings. Welcome aboard. Robots are often used as uh, applicable or allegory themes to oppressed peoples and stuff. Now I'm really getting into literary major. If I work in the word pedagogy into one of my sentences while I'm expostulating like this, feel free to just turn the video off and work because I'm just I'm just blowing smoke out my ass. Statement. Master, I must express some degree of concern. You're too light, son. As I have studied your actions, looking for potential vulnerabilities to exploit... I appreciate your honesty. I have found several. Vulnerabilities? I suppose I should listen. Statement. You seem disposed to helping others, not harming them, as I have come to expect and anticipate from organic meat bags across the galaxy. Yeah? Well, there's the, and this is a true statement. Statement. Oh, master, please, of course they are. Any time you inconvenience or jeopardize yourself for another, it is a vulnerability. In any event, I feel compelled to point out that your self-destructive path of pacifism and sacrifice will only lead to your doom. That your may concern be is a no. melodramatic, but frankly, it is something that all Jedi should hear, and I have been rehearsing the speech for some time. There is some merit to your argument. Also, I am so not a pacifist. Do you see what I did to those fucking Mandos? Fucking Mandos, Aaron. Not me, they don't be jealous, they don't be speaking Mandalorian. Don't get the general started about Mandalorians. Statement. Master, it is nothing personal, but professional pride dictates that I keep a running tally on any potential weaknesses in my masters. And of course, the weaknesses of any other sentient meatbags, droids, or other targets who are in service to my master. Well, thank you not to refer to my crew as targets. Hypothetical. Master, it is entirely possible that one day you may no longer be my master. Yeah and that my new master might get jealous of our prior relationship. It has happened before. Oh. As a result, I have a responsibility to know your weaknesses should I be required to assassinate you. Great. <laughs> Do you... <laughs> this conversation got awkward fast. <laughs> Once again, T3... Do -do -do, hit me old dusty treads. Statement. Oh, I am aware of that, Master. I simply use it to give you the illusion of control and <laughs> obedience. Humans often need such comforts until the end comes. Okay, I like HK-47 like everyone else. <laughs> Sometimes his outlook is a little bleak for my taste. This will come to nothing. This will come to nothing. Statement. Ah, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well. Proceed. Friendly chat? Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your worst. Look, buddy, that's not my thing. If it is, I'll come to you. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. 
Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Well, I wouldn't want to make you sad. HK, what is love? Oh god, there's so many songs in this conversation. Answer. Many organic meatbags find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Oh, really? Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a dry light scope. Well, it's concise. Easy to understand. Certain lethal charm. <laughs> that I don't think I've ever been in. <laughs> Statement. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Obviously, love is a matter of odds. That's fair enough. Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. Well, you're not considering the feelings of the person you're shooting very much. I mean, I'm sure that would go over great. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. I am loving the dialogue, I gotta say. Which is this game's probably undisputed strong point. There have been technical advances from the first game, too. Ouch. Statement. Master, you wound me. Not physically, but in my You're behavior. the one who brought it up. It is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades, but time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness as well. Again, I know that feel. Still, you will find me a valuable asset master. Willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. I'll take you on the next mission, I think. Pause the recording occasionally to give fraps. I don't know. I don't understand fraps. Okay, uh... Know anything about the Sith? Answer. No, Master, I do not. I am afraid I have been out of touch with the Sith for many years. This Great. new Sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Any idea where they might have a base? Answer. No, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory, it is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Ooh. Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. Twi'lek oh. metaphor. Jonta <laughs> bosilikita. <laughs> Lovely. Say that again. Query. Master, excuse me. One thing I have noticed as we travel the galaxy. You seem to possess the ability to understand a variety of alien languages. The general's a well-read man. Me, but that does not seem in keeping with my assessment of your talents. HK, you should know I am the very model of a modern major general. No, I'm not gonna do it. We're moving on. Query. May I see it? Sure. Observation. This is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator. What? With some modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Yeah, and some random miner. I just assumed it was some, like, commercial tape recorder. Observation. Master, I do this device serves multiple functions, oh. including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Oh. Can you use it to track them? Confirmation. Yes, Master. I believe so. Oh. Of course. We would need to find three separate HK squads and use this device in order to target their base. Hello. This is restored content. In the original game, the HK squads that sometimes show up just completely go nowhere. Like, lit like literally their level is cut. 
I don't know if this restored the level. I'm pretty sure this is the one with the HK factory in it. And I'll be happy to get to that content. Okay. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. I'm glad we went down this tangential side path. Uh theory. Well, Master, I believe I was shot repeatedly. Once reduced to my component parts, I suspect pieces of me were sold across the galaxy. Statement. I am an extremely valuable piece of equipment after all, Master. My parts were no doubt costly to obtain, and their new owners hesitant to part with them. Surely. <laughs> it was something of a pain for them. Pretty sure I took most of them off dead bodies. I would be most distressed if you were to shoot me, attack me, or dismember me in any way. I do not wish to repeat the experience. Other people don't like it either. I don't know. We'll work on giving him a soul later, everybody. Statement. Ah. <laughs> You're now picturing HK-47 with cat ears. Uh, other HK units? Statement. What of them? What are they? This. Answer. I do not know why these clones chose now to start revealing themselves. Because we're in the open? Theory. I can only assume that some critical moment is approaching where stealth and subtlety is no longer required. Oh. Not that those durasteel plated knockoffs know anything of stealth or subtlety. They're not very subtle, yeah. It's clear, however, that they have been placed throughout the galaxy at critical junctures, both in the Republic fleet and in neutral worlds, and they seem to be looking for Jedi. Yeah. Remember back on the Harbinger? You will no pay, General. <clears throat> God, the references flow. <laughs> the references must flow. Uh, I'm good. Thanks for talking with me, HK. HK respects me less because I'm a decent person. And HK hates that. Let's go around and talk to people. As I recall, I just finished the... You know, the restored Battle of Dantooine was very impressive, frankly. Hey, Kray, we haven't talked in a little while. Ah, uh, you are here. You felt it, did you not? What? Vsauce's master. The time to hide your presence is coming to a close and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchman in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. Jedi Masters are very strong. So are Weapon Masters? Uh... If I become a Jedi Master, I'll be less physical combat oriented and more force power oriented. Which is not bad, I mean. Uh, I like the Watchmen, though. It's kind of the middle option, kind of the skillful tree. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. Thanks, Mom. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. How so? Prestige class? Oh, yeah. This was a fruitful conversation. Level up. And we get more constitution. Wait, wait, what was the bonus? What's the bonus for being Jesus 3 con? Con! So if I put one more point into the constitution, I'll effectively level up my bonus. And I get two points. That means another point in strength to increase my merit. Oh, I only get one point. Okay. That's fine. That's just fine. As long as I remain Jesus. Which is not hard to do, even in KOTOR 2 where it's more morally gray all around. Tweet injury. 
Awareness is nice to have, let me tell you. Um, yeah. I am now skilled in every skill. Feels good, man. It actually does feel really good. Greater prestige sense. Where does that fit? Did I watch men? Gain plus two defense at level one. So we just start gaining natural defense that doesn't rely on your armor. Which makes sense. Uh, we've got full master flurry. Master two weapon fighting. Regenerate force points. I wouldn't mind. Uh... I think that's what I'll take. Toughness is never not useful. The advanced levels of toughness. Whoa, 10% of any damage suffered. That is nice. Force camouflage. Now how's that work? Where is it? I don't know. We could finish off Dominate Mind and Master Speed, though. Mm -hmm. Force Confusion. Um... Okay, this one is a lot of fun to do. <laughs> uh, such speed for the duration of the effect. Movement speed is doubled, defense is increased by four, and two attacks per round. I do two attacks per round, then a flurry. That's five attacks. I think. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, force confusion is a lot of fun though. We don't actually end up using it too much which is a shame. Um, okay. I will save of DC5 plus the attacking character's level and wisdom and charisma modifiers. So that's plus 15. And then, uh, General's got a pretty good Charisma score. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad odds to convert someone to your side, which is... What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? I'm even referencing the previous game, which is something this game doesn't do enough of. To tell you the truth, 20 Constitution. Sarah Palin would be very proud. I like how Sarah Palin is quickly being forgotten to history entirely. It's a good f it's it's a feeling of hope for our species, you know. Why are you here? Um what's wrong? If you have come to ask me questions, try to find out more of Atris or the Academy, then I have nothing to say to you. I see where your loyalty lies, and if you stand with her, then you cannot stand with oh. me. She is of the Sith. She has faced battle and been found Those wanting. statements are slightly contradictory. <laughs> I could compare Atris to like a giant yawning Sith hungering black hole. Why is it you trust her and not I? I would follow you wherever you led. I believe in what you seek, yet you listen to her counsel. She who would lead you to the Sith Lords themselves. She who would sacrifice you to darkness. How do you know that? A lot of ways to express. Stay with her then. I will aid you against the enemies we face. But when it is settled, you shall not see me again. Light side points for being more of a jerk. Love it. Yeah, I feel bad. I'm pretty sure that's new too. My life for yours. I. I will answer what I can. Nothing more to say to me. Okay. God, it's like Liara in Mass Effect. Any Mass Effect game, really. I don't have anything to say to you until you advance the plot. 
Sorry, HK. Beep boop. Uh, I need a programming spike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Three more computer spikes. Those are never not useful anyway. Hey, Ann. You know, I noticed a glow before, but now, now it's bright around you. That's You've me come being a long Jesus. way since Paragus. And despite all we've been through, you seem a lot better for it. Colors, man. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it, too. Handmaiden is not happy. Now there's a surprise. Trust me, she's a handful. All warriors are. They're not used to dealing with things they can't punch, kick, or break. Yeah. Look, I know how it is. Me? There's no denying that I'm a good-looking guy. You Lots have of fans would agree. Because even though you might not be as good-looking as me, <laughs> you have that whole tortured past, that command presence. Women want to save you. They think they can help you. Why do I need to be saved? They think that everyone can be redeemed and that they're the only ones who can do it. Hmm. And you don't know if it's you or the idea of you that they love. Hmm. Sounds like you're speaking about personal experience. Sounds too much like mercy to me. Mercy to the ground. I don't know if anyone will get that one. We're just talking. Like I said, I've never understood women. Maybe it's because they're not a model. All, that they just want to help you. Help you hear yourself if you've gone deaf to your own voice. We all lose our way sometimes, and we need someone to pull us back. Hmm. Yeah, this sounds a lot like we're talking about you, Anne, which I don't think we've done before. Don't remember. Truth is, I still don't listen to my conscience, even when it's shouting. I think there's times I'd rather be completely deaf than hear it. Yeah. But all this talk doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not qualified to give advice. Besides, when I open my mouth, I'm usually lying anyway. Usually. Well, thanks for the talk, right. man. What did you want to know? Ah, uh, we're good. Thanks for the talk, Ann. He's got stuff to talk about. I wonder if I can talk to the handmaid again and... I don't know. Also, this is a little bit of one of those things. I don't remember selecting an A or B choice here. There is nothing for us to discuss. Leave me alone. Wow. Well, alright. Enjoy the cargo hold. Gotta say. Our thrilling, dramatic, interpersonal tension. Dantooine's complete. Uh, there's Paragus, which is dead. Citadel Station. Uh, okay, our choices are Marshida, Onderon, or Korriban. Korriban's the toughest. We're going there the last. Narshida, uh, there's parts of it that are okay. I like Onderon, though, so we're going there next. Well, of course, maximum one. Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Right. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. Great. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin. Patching it through. With my gun cars. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. What? We Whoa. can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. Fuck this. They have, like, a fleet, probably. Run away. Run away. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no. If it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. And in case you didn't notice, there was a couple cutscenes there, and if I tried to show them, my game would crash. So we've been pretty much knocked out of the sky by the orbital patrol, and we took shelter on the moon like I told them to. 
Luckily, the moon is lush with vegetation instead of, well, like our moon. Unfortunately, though, it's also lush with things that want to kill us, as usual. It's taken a little damage. Nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Interestingly, a lot of these options they give you, like, should we fight, you know, should we fire on the asteroids or go, or should we fight or flee, they don't seem to matter. I like that they try to give you choice, but... Mm. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just going to forget us. No, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. Right. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Oh, good. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Yeah. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. We weren't keeping just... I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military oh. ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Yeah. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Right. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Agreed. Because of the arbitrary headcount limit, uh, most people are going to stay with the ship. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Now see, I think that's real interesting. This game is doing what a lot of games don't, which is the general is a character, and he chooses not to say things and you don't even get like you don't get the option whether to say it or not it just he chooses not to say it like in that thing he didn't you couldn't mention hey I was you know if it wasn't for me da 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 can't do the whole song and dance like that I really like little things like that things that are like Hatton can't come fixing the ship or actually just laying around for a while then he'll fix the ship we're, we're cooking with the dark side today, kids. Remember, that's no good. Well, certainly a change of pace, I gotta admit. It is nice to see somewhere full of life, even if a lot of it is life that wants us freaking dead. This is, that's a badass looking lightsaber. Yeah. Yes, Master. Alright, HK. Auto level yourself up, please. Thank you. Ah. We don't have much in the way of uh, the guns. We have a bit of stuff here for you. Ooh. Neural scrambler. Defense bonus too, yeah. Okay, so we have some gear here, but mostly HK will be in support. Actually, it's very possible he won't be useful at all. Great. In any case, let's get exploring, everyone. Nothing really back there. This is like a perfect clearing for us, and we just pick a route. Because there's two routes here, and we're going to explore all this plant, all this stuff. 
also, we're going to cast Stasis Field and have it just completely be ineffective. Now, how do I get the, the freaking mind trick? Does it have to be on intelligent enemies? There we go. There we go. And the one we actually managed to hit. Pew pew! HK gives a little bit of range support. That's nice. Okay, we're pretty good at just slicing through enemies. Any loot? No? The, the ultra bombastic music does continue though. Okay. Oh hey. Are they gonna fight each other? They are. Ready to HK? I say we let them fight them out. And then we hit the victors with some grenades. I am totally cool with this. Eh. Eh. They're not doing too much damage, but remember, we get the experience. Oh! It was only the one. Didn't know that. Charge. We got one and we hit nobody. HK back it off. Run away. Target acquired. HK, why don't you take the point? Mandalorian heavy armor. What? On these random beasts? Whatever you want, Knights of the Old Republic 2, whatever you want. There you are, you twitchy, fresh little spastic wide eyed grandma. Oh, that wasn't a bad shot. Okay, HK, you just need to focus on your power blast. You'll do alright. So, what else do you got? Sniper shot, power blast, okay. I shall make this one see. Yeah, look, this. I shall make this one see. Not bad damage, considering you're just using a basic blaster rifle. I don't know, we don't have many heavy armor users though, that's the thing. Let's try this. Uh, yeah, it didn't come to much, but the grenades are useless at this point anyway. That looks like a droid. Yeah, it looks a lot like a droid. Okay, let's access this. Need to access the computer that controls it. Damn it. I was hoping I could activate it like mid battle. Pew pew! What the hell, guys? Running off on me like this. Is that some kind of awesome wind effect? Also, I heavily suspect there are mines in the area. Yes, master. Anybody see the mines? Guess not. What ifs? Salvageable parts. Ooh. Skeletal corpse. Yay! Dead Republic pilot. Ooh. From the war. Revan. Wing of military droid carriers. Oh, 
prejudice set to maximum. <laughs> Thank you, HK. Gotcha. I distinctly remember mines here. Fix the computer port. Ooh. Droid carrier system. System commands. Repair computer core. Droids available for primary function. Access droid. Okay. Okay, uh... Camera. The animals aren't reacting to them as threats, it looks like. Now that's interesting. Ship down there with people. Might be able to get over there and help them out. Okay, so we can't do anything else right here. We do get a bunch of EXPs for hacking, which is typically what it's good for. Huh. And now we go back and find that find the droids that will be useful. Got some news. Oh. The space battle is still going on. The Hawk sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Great. Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Thanks for the warning, man. Great. Loot the bodies, loot the bodies. Do not engage. Activate the droid. Let it engage. HK, fire! Yes. Master. Gotcha. Put your little precious blonde eyes, plastic little gremlin. I know I should be using glory, but against these enemies, it honestly doesn't matter. We are now cutting through them. And yes, it feels so good. Okay, remote droid. Whatever, I got the EXPs for it. Let it move forward. He'll take point. Not that energy shields do much against melee anymore. Derp, 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 derp. Oh yeah, these things were totally gonna beat the Mandalorian hordes. Acknowledgement. Well, we keep going till we find something. One more gun and a capable droid is not something I'll turn down. Plus we get EXPs for fixing it up. So there's that. Don't know how long I've been recording. I'm likely to cut this up into two videos instead of just making one mammoth video. Okay, get him. Optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Oh, good to know you're optimal. <laughs> I'll set myself to miss every time this time, Master. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be tremendous? How do I cancel combat action? Okay, cancel combat. Fix this one up. There we go. Another. It's like a thousand XP's for each. Pew pew! He'll go on ahead and fight them. Thanks for being useless, Joy. There we go. Okay, so it's just lots of fun. Okay, if HK-47 had the voice of the sniper from Team Fortress, that would be pretty great. Alright, looks like we've... We're making really good ground, even... like Karth, but uh, more likable. And this is coming from someone who didn't hate Karth at all, but man. Actually, Karth is a little like um, Alistair from Dragon Age. 
in that I don't quite understand the hate he receives, especially Karth. I mean, you have to choose to get the sad backstory. I'm just gonna trade in these repair parts for the EXPs. Patrol mode. Oh, damn it. It's locked in fire support mode. Because these guys are bad guys. Duros. No. You guys are attacking people with lightsabers and droid support with your guns. You guys are stupid. Well then get <laughs> force choke this bitch, please. If you even get the shot Thesis, what are you some of these characters? Saved! That one. Do it! Oh, come on, Jesus. Ready to serve. Whatever, well, we swarmed up with droids. That was uh, kind of a pathetic fight. I remember being at least challenged at some points previously in this game. They didn't clear out the wild animals from here? Dear God. Die. So, it's weird. I get... When I play this game, I get the fresh joy of experiencing new content with the restored content mod, and yet I also know lots about it so I can bring a bit of expert opinion and analysis, which is really nice. I, I like that, that I can do both of those things. <clears throat> I remember the layout of this place as being different, but it has been a long time, so I don't know. Loot the bodies. I'm sure the general hums that to himself sometimes. Oh, another place. What the? More wreckage? Huh. I'll take it. No, no getting around that. Oh, force speed, force speed is so good. Also, that thing where it doesn't wear off sometimes, I do appreciate that. That happened more in the original, though. My voice is getting a little strained from commentary. Might take a break soon. We got through the first level of uh, Ducks and no. Not bad. As I remember this you let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now... Find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Dick. Meanwhile, in Bad Guy Topia. This'll fix them. Actually, that didn't fix anything. Wow. Alright. This level of flurry means I pretty much just get a free extra attack. And yes, it feels good. Hey. Thank you, Vesus. So Vesus will independently use her force powers. She can't use too many because she's sort of coming around to the light side because of my influence. Oh, hey! These guys are freaking everywhere. Let's go to it, then. Diagnostic? For some reason, I cannot fire. Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. Huh. I am attempting to access my weapon systems, and I cannot. Alarmed embarrassment. If this gets back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. Um, HK? 
Come on. You're fighting, right? Oh, right. They can't fire on HK, and HK can't fire on them. Because droid shall not kill droid. Fuck you guys. Lisa, screw these guys over. Feels so good to do that. Unlimited power. Also notice it's a light side option, so I can do this all the goddamn day. As that. Interesting. HK, what was that? Statement. Master, if you could indulge me for a moment, I must express some degree of irritation at your actions. Why must you imitate space, Jesus? My anticipation of working with one who served at Malachor V was too high. But you are countering all those expectations. And how is that? Statement. Well, all your behavior up to this point suggests either strong atonement or confirmation that the atrocities attributed to you during the war were, in fact, accidents. Do them again gladly. Well, not gladly, but I'm willing to accept what I did. Statement. I suspected as much, Master. There are few who would discuss such things with an assassination droid, and that is perfectly understandable. I mean, what use is there for communication in a galaxy such as ours? Understanding might be achieved, or sympathies might be gained by such callous acts. Oh, great. You are right to remain silent about your past. I have seen the damage that repressing such things brings, and it is far preferable to share such traumas. Are you trying to provoke me? Answer. Why, no, Master. I have no intention of attacking you or enacting assassination protocols. That's not what I asked you. Answer. Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy that way. What do you mean? Statement. Sometimes, Master, it is difficult for meatbags to step back and gain some perspective on death and its importance in their insignificant lives. Explanation. You see, Master, assassination is such a versatile tool. I have seen the removal of a single target have far-reaching consequences for a nation, world, even a galaxy. The repercussions of even the smallest lives, whether dead or alive, can have profound implications on history. But surely you realize... I actually think about that sometimes, yeah. Statement. Master, please, any comparisons between me and your meatbag status leaves a fluctuating, intermittent charge through my control I'll blood it through your heart? I was no. only trying to bring death and its impact to your attention. Alright. Thanks for talking with me. HK hates me more. Query, is this... It's weird, he hates that term so much, but he... But he does it. So after we kill three bad guys, is that just it? Or do I have to use it for my inventory or some bullshit? I'm hoping it just happens. Oh goody, the bombastic music as I level up. I didn't want anything more in the world. Okay, yeah, uh, two weapon fighting. Kill. Forced kill. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, if we're leveling you up in that direction anyway. Also, I'm sure that'll allay uh, the disciples' fears, or the handmaiden's fears about, you know, her being a Sith warrior. Oh my god, she's actually higher on the light side. She's slightly higher on the light side skill than I am. I didn't realize the change was so incredibly dramatic. I mean, like, the immediacy of it, you know? In any case, oh. I'm really glad there wasn't a minefield there. I'd actually be pissed. Body of a dead Mandalorian soldier. Killed the last three or four. Ooh. 
Thus, there are actual Mandalorians here, like, like, recently. Great. You remember them from the last game, right? The assholes that always tried to fight you and were assholes and tried to conquer the galaxy because they're just that big assholes. That one. Loot the corpse, and next time on Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords, we'll investigate this old cache of stuff, I suppose. And continue on exploring the forest moon of Duxon. And maybe we'll meet some Mandalorians. Yay.